forms are made available to employees and managers over the web. HR Actions easily integrates into Sage Employee Self-Service, or ESS, providing a one-stop shop for human resources on the web. Through the web, managers and employees can access the HR Actions dashboard and initiate forms. Here, a supervisor is able to initiate a form for direct reports or a skip level. Alternatively, organizations that do not use ESS can deploy forms using the web interface provided as part of HR Actions. Employees and managers on the go can access HR Actions through a mobile device. route. The core of HR Actions is the workflow engine, the ability to take a form and route it appropriately before it is saved to Sage HRMS. Think of it like an electronic routing slip attached to each form. When a form is built, it is assigned a default routing. In other words, the minimum number of provers that must sign off on the form for it to be accepted. HR Actions designates several different types of approvers. Operational approvers are supervisors that are ordered based on the supervisors field in SAGE HRMS. A form might be approved by a supervisor and then that supervisor's supervisor and so on. Executives can also be defined in a hierarchical structure. Similarly, an HR Actions Administrator can define a hierarchy of human resources personnel that can be included in the routing sequence. 
HR Actions also supports role-based approvers, like a recruiter or training administrator, and ex approvers that are explicitly named. In addition to the default routing established when a form is built, an HR Actions Administrator can create conditional routing rules, called business rules, to add names to the electronic routing slip. This allows you to strategically route forms based on an as-needed basis. Routing rules can use information on the form or information in SAGE HRMS. For example, if a raise is over a certain percentage or if a performance score is below a certain value, HR Actions can add approvers to the electronic routing slip. Since the system is establishing the routing, there's no need for your employees or associates to have to figure out who needs to sign off on any form. It's built in. Here's an example. A supervisor is filling out a transfer form that requires two approvers by default. If an exceptionally large raise amount is entered into the form, a business rule is set up to require a third signature. In this case, an executive. This allows the form to be strategically routed without the supervisor having to know exactly what the business rules are. After initiating an action, the workflow engine kicks in and sends email to the first approver on the list to notify them there is a form waiting for approval. There is no confidential information in the email. It simply contains a link to HR Actions. After clicking the link and authenticating with a login and password, the approver can see a list of forms waiting for their approval. They can review the form and, with the necessary permissions, make changes to the form. Any changes made to the form are logged in a detailed audit trail. They can then decide to approve the form, sending it to the next person in the routing slip, reject or disapprove it, or return it to the initiator. Future approvers are always notified via email that there's something waiting for their approval. Control. HR Actions makes it easy for you to see exactly what forms are currently being routed and where they are in the routing process at any time. Supervisors have access to a dashboard that shows them any action they have been involved with. Either they have initiated it for an employee or a skip level, or they were on the electronic routing slip. Supervisors can stop an action they've initiated while it's routing, should they change their mind. The HR Actions Administrator's Dashboard shows all the active forms in the organization. From the dashboard, an administrator can view an action, change or audit an action, skip one approver, skip all approvers, or cancel the action. Anything done to the action is logged in a detailed audit trail. Save. When an action is finished routing, an HR Actions Administrator can save the information on the form to SAGE HRMS, updating all related fields and creating point-in-time history records with a couple of mouse clicks. There's no need to rekey information in from the form to SAGE HRMS. The tight integration between HR Actions and SAGE HRMS makes this transfer of information possible. Every action is saved in an online file cabinet along with its attachments if there were any. Completed actions, those that have been saved to the SAGE HRMS, and rejected actions are easily retrieved using the search capabilities built into the dashboard. You can always bring up a form at any time to see exactly what was filled in, look at the routing, and read the detailed audit trail. And easy access to the historical information stored in the HR Actions SQL database makes it easy for you to create reports that provide strategic insights into your organization based on forms that have been processed through HR Actions. Thousands of users across North America have realized the benefits of a paperless environment that's been transformed through HR Actions with automated workflow, online tracking and control, one-click updates of Sage HRMS, and an online file cabinet. For more information, contact your Sage business partner or Delphia Consulting and see how HR Actions can transform your work environment today.